Hello everyone. This is lesson number six and in this Microsoft Excel video we will learn how to create a drop down list in Microsoft Excel. So first of all I will show you what is a drop down list and here I've got a table or you can say a grid where I've got some students names and some information about their country of origin, their place of birth, their class names and the section of that class and their attendance record and their performance and if they are moving up now or not yet. So here I've got different lists for all of the options. First list is for country of origin. I've got only three countries here because in my class all of the students are from these three countries but you can add as many as you want and the second option is place of birth so I've just written these three cities just for example we've got four different levels in our classes and we've got three different sections and we've got four different options for attendance four different options for performance moving up or down we've got three different options now if i want to enter this information here without typing anything then i can use a drop down list so I will just show you how it works first if I go to this cell and you can see a drop down arrow is here that shows that there is nothing in the cell but there is something in this drop down list and when you click on this small tiny arrow you can see all the options from here they are here now now I will click on for example England and same for the rest Lila she is from Scotland Kate is from Wales and now if I go to places of birth John is from London Kate is from Cardiff Lila is from Glasgow and rest of the information you can also add uh, by using these options like if John is level 2 student and he is in section B attendance his attendance is average he's not very good but he's average his performance is poor he's moving up or down not yet so you can see I haven't added any word by typing I've just went to the drop down list and I selected an option and it will stay there because we've chosen those options from the drop down list and that is the easier way of inputting data when you got hundreds of rows in your data sheet this will be very hard to write down each and every option and uh, if different people are entering data in your cells then they might spell it differently and uh, there is no standardization in there and when you try to analyze that data filter that data that is really really hard at the end so if you keep your lists like this but if you got these drop down lists and a set standard of options then there are minimum chances of errors and for that reason I would say whenever you have to add any information like this onto your forms onto your certificates onto your database or any other documents where you can see the importance of standardization 
you should try a drop down list so now i will teach you how i've created this and it's not very hard to do this is a simple technique which we just have to learn today on sheet number two i've got the same table here where i've entered some student names in the first column the second column is empty these columns are empty i've kept all the column headings same as they were in the sheet one now if you go to this cell here you can see i don't have any drop down list so how should i create a drop down list so go into any of the cells so here next to john's name i will click on the cell only one time and then you go on to the green area on your screen so inside this data tab so you have to go to data validation when you click once on data validation you can see these options here the first one is data validation we will go on to the first one and now this window is popped up and you can see settings input message error alert and some other information as well we need to stay in the setting tab and go into this option so we've got some options here any value whole number decimal and list so when you go into list just double click here and you can see this this box is appeared when you click on this small box it will ask you to choose the list you want to add information from so we've got country of origin and we've created this list underneath for country of origin so i've got only three nations where my students are coming from so i will choose these three cells and i will just press enter and then you will see this window again so here i will have to keep this clicked first one is ignore blank and in cell drop down both of them should be ticked when you come here then just press on ok and your drop down is ready so if you want to check you can see all these options are here now and John is from England so I will just click on this and he's his information is entered but this is only there for one cell because we've set this data validation only for one cell so the rest of the cells are still standard cells and there is no validation on them so to do the copy of your validation onto the next rows you just click on this and go to this corner when you see this plus sign here the small one just click and drag drag it down to the last cell of your selection and you can see it has copied the information as well but don't worry about that you can just delete this by selecting it will not delete the validation just select the information you want to delete and press delete or click right and clear content so now you can see i've got the data validation on these cells as well if i want to check how it works just click on this tiny arrow and just choose your options so you can apply this method to all of the lists and all of the columns you will get this result so here you can see 
uh, all of the options are here the data validation is on each and every cell so this is a lot easier to enter information I can just fill this data in in a couple of minutes maybe but if you have to write this information for all of these students it takes so much time and sometimes there are errors in your typing and sometimes spelling mistakes and other mistakes as well so to avoid those human errors we just use this data validation and create a drop down list so that is it i hope you liked the video and this video will help you to create a drop down list to make your life easy and then there will be minimum mistakes and errors from your typing and your data will look better as well so thank you thanks for watching i will be back with a new video soon